So the season is over. Manchester United finished third. We got to three semi-finals. We lost all three of them. We just fell short. But we got Champions League football next year. And I would say it has been a successful season if it turns out to be the stepping stone towards our ultimate ambition, which it needs to be. But for that to happen, United need to strengthen this summer. So far, we've signed nobody, while our rivals around us have been busy. And this is all about the comments from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in public before the Sevilla game that has put in pressure on Woodward and Glazers to match his ambitions. Exactly what I want to see from Solskjaer. I want to run through all the comments. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV down below. And if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you share and like the video. But let's talk exactly about those comments from Solskjaer. If you don't know about them, you'll be happy about them. But just quickly before I start, and I never, ever, ever really react to anything like this, but I keep getting accusations on Twitter that I'm somehow in the pockets of United and I'm an Ole apologist and I'm actually supporting the Glazers. I mean, come on, just take a look back at the videos that have been on this channel from day one. I fucking hate the Glazers. They are the root of all the problems at United. I want them out. I don't like Ed Woodward. I don't think he's very good in his role. I think he's a good banker, but not in his current position. So just get rid of the bullshit, please. Stop wasting your time. Stop wasting your time. my time on my timeline reading your bollocks. But somebody who does have a close relationship is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, United's manager. And as we all know, look, if we've got a boss who we don't like at work, we don't go on Facebook and call them a twat, do we? Because we will get sacked. So it's a delicate process if Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is going to criticise Woodward or the Glazers in public. But he has done exactly that with his comments before the Sevilla game. And this is what he said. When asked about United next season and the teams around us, he said, it's a race. You can see teams building. We're always looking at the squad and player logistics. It is definitely about quality and it is going to cost money to get in players who are better than the ones we already have. We still have a way to go to get to the level of the teams at the top of the Premier League. They are too far ahead of us. We are still growing, getting better, of course, but we are not the finished article. Nowhere near. America. Now, that is what I want to hear from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Because it will cost money to sign players who are better than the players that we currently have. The reason we lost in those key moments in the semi-finals was probably, I think, largely down to the fact that we were just missing the quality. It certainly was against Sevilla. The finishing wasn't there. The defending was abysmal. Those big moments of quality, we didn't have enough. We need to sign players if we are going to go to that next level. And here in Solskjaer, do this in public against Woodward and the Glazers, for me, is a massive, massive step because it shows two things. One, it shows the confidence of a manager who is, who is confident in his own environment. He feels safe in his job. He feels happy with his job. So much so, number two, that he's happy to now start putting pressure on the board and the club to start matching his ambition. Because clearly, I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has taken this squad of players as far as it can go. Third, we're not catching Liverpool and City. Three semi-finals. Things could have gone differently. We may have got to a final. But they're cup competitions and things happen in cup competitions. This is as far as this squad can currently go. But without the investment, we can't take it any further. Solskjaer can't take it any further. And it will cost money to sign these players. And it's not as if this market is dead. And that's one thing that Woodward and the Glazers will be saying. Ah, oh, it's the post-coronavirus market, the pandemic. No one's really doing much. Players aren't worth as much money. I mean, we can just straight up call that bullshit. All we need to do is look at the teams around us and the activity that they've got. Start at the top, painfully, Liverpool. Liverpool have got a back up to Andy Robertson. They're in talks to Santiago Alcantara. Adam Lallana's left. Dejan Lovren's left. A couple more pieces of dead wood. A couple more players of excellent squad value. Liverpool are improving and they don't need to. They've already got a hell of a squad. City, they've already signed Pablo Moreno, Ferran Torres and Nathan Ake. David Silva's left. Leroy Sane, the player who didn't want to be there, he's left. City are continuing to improve on what is probably the strongest squad already in the Premier League. And then you've got Chelsea, who are doing ridiculous bit. They've got Timo Werner already, Hakim Ziyech. It looks like they're going to sign Kai Havertz. Willian's left on a free. 
replacing, improving massively. I think Chelsea are going to probably win this transfer window, if you want to call it a game like that. But they are backing Frank Lampard to the hilt, whilst United are doing nothing at the moment. And even Spurs. Spurs have signed Hoiberg. They're getting rid of a ton of players from that squad. They're backing in Jose Mourinho. And hell, even Arsenal have signed Willian on a free transfer. They've got that French defender. I can't remember his name, but he's coming back. They bought him last year. So oh, even Arsenal are improving. Whereas United, look at us. Bit confused as to why it says uh, Igalo in on loan. I'm not sure when his loan expires. This is from the official Premier League website, by the way. But look, Alexis Sanchez and Tahith Chong. Tahith Chong's a good loan move. Getting Sanchez off the books was an important thing. But while Liverpool are signing players, Chelsea, City, Spurs and Arsenal, United are too busy haggling over the price to get the best deal possible and win that part of the transfer. It's not the priority. It's not the aim and it's not the ambition of Solskjaer. Now, what is the ambition of United? Is it still to be just a cash cow for the Glazers? to spend as little much as little money as possible for those results and get get the dividends which are twice annually <sighs> bullshit man just look at these teams around us Solskjaer has done fantastic work this season since he's come in to get this united squad to the place it is now but i feel like we're in a, a similar position sorry to where spurs were under pochettino just before just before he, i think he nearly won the league with them and they didn't back him in the summer what happened Spurs flopped, Poch got sacked, the Spurs team's going to get ripped apart by Jose Mourinho. Now, do we want the same thing to happen to Solskjaer at United? Because it can do. This United team, he's got Bruno Fernandes, he's got that player in that's made the magical difference. And it goes to show that signing the right players for the right reasons can make that much of a difference at a club and why someone like Jadon Sancho can do that again and take United up a level. Still think we need a central midfielder. Still think we absolutely need a centre-back, but I don't know how many players United are going to sign this summer. But Woodward and Glazers there have been called out by Solskjaer. He's not going to do it as directly as saying, Glazers, spend your goddamn money. Woodward, do your goddamn job properly. Maybe that's what he's saying behind the scenes. But in public, to see Solskjaer doing this and saying, look, it will cost players to get players who are better than the ones we currently have. Uh, I mean, it's obvious to say, but... Just to see Solskjaer exerting that sort of pressure on Woodward and the Glazers in public tells me his ambition is there. So if United do not sign the players this summer, it's not because Solskjaer didn't want us to. He wants us to, so much so, and he's frustrated, clearly, that these comments are coming out. But it's exactly what I want to see from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And it's fighting talk. He wants Sancho. He wants that quality player like Bruno Fernandes who can make the difference and take this United team up to another level. And we need to go up a level. We're way behind Liverpool and City, who have already strengthened this summer. So we're already playing catch up to a two teams that are running away with it again in this summer transfer window. So it's time for United to match the ambitions of Solskjaer. There has to come a point when the bottom line and the price that is paid is not the ultimate goal and aim for United. As a football club, it never should be. As a business, it always has been. Where does that change? Because for United to get back to winning those titles, winning those trophies, which has made United such a powerful global brand for the Glazers, investment has to happen. And it's come in drips and drabs and waves. But when you're looking at what the rivals around us are doing, we need to play ball, pay the money, or just watch Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's good work start to unravel. Because right now, this squad has gone as far as it has. But as Solskjaer has done with those comments there, the pressure's on. The pressure's on from fans, from the media, from Solskjaer. Woodward, judge, do your goddamn jobs properly. Give Dortmund what they want with Sancho. Give us time to get Sancho in and sign somebody else because we don't just need one signing this summer. Come on. But just to see my manager Solskjaer do this and exert that pressure goes to show he's confident in his role and he's growing in his role as United manager. Fergie was very good at that. Solskjaer's learning, but clearly he's learning. So let me know what you think about these comments below. For me, I'm really happy to see them. I want to see more of them. And if it does make the difference, hell yes to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to Night People's TV. And like the channel if you're watching it on Facebook. Until next time though, take it easy.